here's how to recover a Trust Wallet. So I'm gonna show you in the application. The process is very similar for the browser extension as well. As long as you have the recovery phrase, which Trust Wallet gave you when you set up the wallet, which is 12 to 24 words. As long as you have that, there are gonna be no issues. If you don't have that written down, maybe you have it saved in your cloud account. If it's in your cloud account, it's gonna be easy as well. If you don't have that, then it's impossible to recover the wallet. You need the recovery phrase, otherwise you just simply cannot reload it. If you set up Trust Wallet Swift, which is a pass keys wallet, as long as you have the pass keys and you didn't delete them, then you can reload the wallet very easily as well. So let's go through the process. I'll click get started. And then from here it says, what do you want to set up? And I can click add existing wallet. Now, if you just have a Trust Wallet Swift account, which is the pass keys wallet, and that's saved in your iCloud or your Google Cloud, then you can actually create a brand new wallet here, just as like a burner wallet, and then go and reload the Swift account um, when you've created this wallet. Because the Swift account and the actual other wallet are not linked. So if you just have a Swift, you don't have to add existing wallet, you can create a new one if you want. But we're gonna add existing wallet, and then we're gonna add the Swift account later. Create passcode here. This is not the recovery phrase. This is app specific. You can delete the app, reload it, create a new passcode. You can actually delete this as well so you don't have to use it. So I'm just gonna type in a passcode here and that takes me through. So you can actually create a view only wallet. This is actually where you can load in the public key, which is your address of any wallet that exists and you can just view that wallet and all the transactions, but you can't control that wallet you know, so that's just view only if you want to create that. iCloud backup if you click this. So I don't have one, but if you do, then you can just reload from that. So very simple. You don't need your recovery phrase because it's saved in your iCloud. There may be a password encryption. So you have to remember the password if they ask you for that. So if you don't have it written down, it could be in your iCloud. You can just reload it very simply here. But we can use the secret phrase. So click this. And what do you want to do? You probably set up a multi-coin wallet. If you didn't, then just click the specific wallet of the chain that you set up. Most people have a multi-coin wallet, so we'll just click this. And then it says, where is your recovery phrase? So that's that 12 to 24 words that you absolutely have to have written down. Otherwise, there's nothing to recover. So if you've written down your phrase and you're having issues here, like the wallet is saying the words are wrong or something, then you may have written them down slightly incorrectly or have you know, written them in, in the wrong way here. So the way around that is, as long as you have a couple of the letters of the word that are correct, you can actually re reference that word with the official list of words that are used. There is a list of words, and so I'll link it in the description. I think it's called BIP39. And there's a list of words, and each of those, each of those letters, there's only a few words that can actually possibly be used um, in this recovery phrase. So if a couple of the words are wrong or the app is telling you these aren't right, then you can go to that list and maybe see where you've gone wrong or try out some of the other words that start with the same letter. And you might be able to kind of brute force your way in if you wrote the seed phrase down incorrectly initially when it was given to you from Trust Wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the 12 to 24 words right now and then we can actually go ahead and recover the wallet that I have. I've written my words in right here and everything seems to be okay. So I'm gonna press restore wallet. And then from there, it's gonna restore all of your balances. So you should see the balances that you had previously in the wallet. Um, so if you had you know, assets on different chains, then it's gonna show them uh, in your wallet when you actually recover it. So if you don't have that, you can actually go and recover all of the coins that you had by adding them in specifically as well. So I don't want push notifications. But as you can see, I had like one balance here. And so it's recovered that. And you can see some other popular coins. If you can't see any of your coins, go up, the, up to the top right and then obviously search for those coins that you had. So you can click that and search for any coins that you had previously. Also, now that you've recovered the wallet, you know all of your uh, receive addresses. So you can actually just check those addresses on a blockchain explorer like Everscan or BNB Scan or any of those and you can actually see the wallet uh, on those blockchain explorers and see all of the assets in there if they're not showing up uh, in your trust wallet right now. You can get to any blockchain explorer just by going to Google and searching for the blockchain and explorer and it's gonna give you that. And then you can actually see each wallet and all of the assets in there if for some reason trust wallet uh, aren't giving you that. 
So from here as well, we have another wallet to recover, which is the Trust Wallet Swift. So if we go into settings and then wallets, and then you may have set up a Trust Wallet Swift that isn't here. So we're gonna to go to the plus button. We're gonna add existing wallet. And what do we wanna do? We wanna reload the Swift wallet. So I'm gonna click that. And then from here, I've got my pass key wallet set up, right? So it says, do you wanna sign in? So I'm gonna press continue, face ID. And it's as simple as that, you've now loaded that wallet again. And so if you don't have the pass key and Trust Wallet are very explicit about this, if you, for some reason, delete the pass key that you set up when you created Swift Wallet, if that's deleted, your money's gone forever. You'll never, ever get it back. There is simply no way to recover it. So never, ever delete that pass key if you created a pass key wallet with Trust Wallet Swift. If you did, you can see it's as simple as that. You can just reload the wallet. If you're looking to move the app to a different device, you can do that very easily as long as you have the app loaded on the device that you're using now. So if your recovery phrase is lost, you don't have access, you don't know what it is, and you didn't save it in your iCloud, as long as the app is open and working on another device, you can get the recovery phrase back. So I'm in the wallet, I'm gonna to go to settings, wallets, main wallet here, I'm gonna click the three dots, and then it says manual down here. So I'm gonna click that, and then it says, make sure that you know this, press continue. These are the 12 words. So this is my recovery phrase. So if you've lost it or there's an issue with it, as long as you have the wallet open on a previous device, you can get the recovery phrase back and then you can obviously store it properly this time and you know put it into a different device. If you're looking to recover this same wallet on the browser extension, this is the recovery phrase that you use as well. There are some more robust methods of writing down seed phrases rather than just on a bit of paper. For example, steel plates. I'll leave some links below to some good options. Also, there are exchange wallets now like Binance's Web3 wallet where you don't have to ever manage a seed phrase and it's just locked into your iCloud account. I'll leave a tutorial video for that down in the description as well. I'm James, this is my ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.